Hi everyone, just a quick installation video of our lightweight enhanced K2 end plate system. As many of you know, the K1 version was introduced about a year, year and a half ago and have been doing very well for us, but we've always had intentions of releasing the K2 version or better known as the locking lever version. And this video is going to cover just very briefly of how to install the end plate. For the purposes of our video, the buffer tube is already installed. We're not going to be installing the takedown detent and spring. Be sure that you install that prior to putting your end plate on. Thread the castle nut on by hand. When you get to the end, you'll want to grab a castle nut wrench. You'll notice that you essentially just need two to three additional clicks from hand tight. It's also worth noting that this is made out of 7075 T6 aircraft grade aluminum, so it's very lightweight and robust. However, because it's aluminum, you still want to install the lightweight castle nut a little bit differently than you would a mil spec version. To remove the castle nut, you'll need to depress on the locking lever and use a nice castle nut wrench to loosen it up just a tad bit until you can use your hands to remove the rest. It's very simple. The system is robust and it'll last you years and years of worry-free service. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.